the purpose of launching the universal community testing is to identify uh, as early as possible any trans silent transmitters in society so that uh, we will feel safer to uh, consider the next stage of social distancing measures with a view that Hong Kong's economy and people's livelihood could resume normal as soon as possible. As far as the universal community testing is concerned, we are not uh, cramming it into a single day. We have allowed for ourselves, ourselves up to two weeks to invite uh, members of the community to come forward for the testing. Secondly, we are going to do an online booking system. So we'll, preferably we will not be seeing crowds or long queues in front of the swapping, uh, the swapping stations uh, to have the test done. So I, I really think uh, it's, uh, it's inappropriate or just unreasonable to try to compare um, uh, electoral elections to the universal, universal community testing. Um, the second point is why do some people, especially as you described, well-known people, and well-known people in the professional fields, uh, have expressed reluctance uh, to join the program or even to um, sort of uh, ask uh, people not to come forward? I just don't know why. Okay. And the testing is globally accepted as a good means to um, identify early in the confirmed cases so that they could be isolated for treatment. And this testing capacity is not taken away from the testing capacity for the other higher priority areas. One is the um, uh, clinical um, testing and medical surveillance testing undertaken by the, ho the hospital authority and the Department of Health. Secondly, is a target group uh, testing conducted by various departments. So I would make a strong plea that well-known people, especially in the relevant professional areas, should really um, uh, express their view in a more responsible way. Uh, since this is about public health, let's focus on public health.